Hello DC fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Superpowers Dark Side made by McFarlane Toys. Take a look at the packaging. You see the packaging does resemblance to the um to the original Superpowers toy toys from like the 80s, I believe. I don't know. Correct me in the comments down below. Please. You got the Superpowers logo right there. And his name, Dark Side, and this cool fancy look. Font, new for 50, new for 2022. And a different languages. I believe this one looks French. Well, I know this one's in Spanish. And it's recommended for ages for, I mean, 12 plus. DC logo right there. You got a cool looking artwork image of Dark Side. McFarlane Toys logo right here. And yes, the package is damaged. Yeah, if I was an inbox collector, I'll be hurt. But thankfully, I'm not. And on the back, here's like a little bio. Well, here's like a bio about the character. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to read it for yourself. And there's other figures from the Superpowers line. You get Superman and Hush Batman. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, they're basically from the modern comics. Well, Dark Side's not wearing his classic costume. This is more like his New 52 armor. And also, there's the vehicles like the Batwing and the Supermobile. Pretty interesting that Superman has his own vehicles, even though he can fly. So anyway, that's about it for the packaging. Let's take out Dark Side out of the package. Here is Dark Side out of the package. Take a closer look at the figure. Take a look at the head sculpt here. The head sculpt looks really not too bad. Very well like the character from the comics. Even though despite I knew him from the, well, the only appearance of Darkseid. Well, appeared is the Snyderverse version of Darkseid. But still a really a not too bad looking head sculpt I would say for a comic book look on him. Not too bad at all, not too bad. Look at this little helmet thing on him. Right, right there. And you get the red eyes. Sadly, he does not come with a, the laser effect. It would be really cool if Todd himself give him some accessories. Because, come on, it's Dark Side. Dark Side need like a laser beam eyes. And take a look at the, the body here. You can see he is, ba again, based on the new 52 look. You get the, um, the little circle thing, art reactor thing on here. You get the shoulder pads on each side. Take a look at the arms here. You can see some sculpted details on the arms. You get, like the gauntlets on both sides and the hands. You get one hand for holding for an accessory that he does not come with. And the other hand, you get just a generic fisted hand that he likes to punch with his just sleek. Yeah. Uh, take a look at the, the lower body. You see some yellow paint on there, on the lines. And I believe that's the, his logo right there. Take a look at the legs. Nothing much on the legs. You can see some of the pins right there on each side of the knees. Nothing much on the back or the upper back there. And on the bottom, there are some legalese and two, well, there are some legalese and no peg holes, sadly. Overall, for the sculpting of the figure, I say it looks really cool. Todd McFarlane did a really like, great job with this figure. And I, I will admit, he did a really good job with this figure. It's really a not too bad looking figure. Now moving on to articulation. The head does go, doesn't go fully rotate because it's hindered by the uh, the neck collar on his, on right here. The arms do go fully rotate. The arm, there's no bend at the elbows. Right here, there's like a little seam line. I was thinking like the, the, the gauntlets arm, the gauntlets area rotate, but doesn't seem like that. 
No waist rotation. Legs kick forward and back. This high. And bend at the knees. And that's about it. Very limited articulated. It's not the same articulation as the, um, well, the DC Retro, um, DC Retro Batman 66 figures. But he does have some limited articulation. I mean, hey, it's fine. I'm pretty sure, um, old, older viewers might like older collectors might collect these for a nostalgia and nostalgia and something like that. Yeah. He does not come with any accessories again. So yeah, let's end this review anyways. Overall for the figure itself, I say the figure itself looks really great. The sculpting looks good. The paint apps looks perfect. Articulation, not very posable. It's very limited. But but hey. If you really like these type of figures with the um you know, it gave you like some nostalgic from like the eighties where you like the superpower figures and has like a little feature, so yeah. Yeah. It's a really a not too bad looking figure. And I do recommend it for collectors who are big fans of superpowers toy lines. Yeah, I know McFarland's doing another wave with John Stewart, Green Lantern, and the Flash and the Batman Who Laughs. I'm hopefully there's gonna be more. And I know there's like a leaked photos of Wonder Woman and Reverse Flash, which I'm probably gonna get those. Hopefully we get more like like I will I would like to see Catwoman in that line. Or Two Face, obviously. Two Face. Maybe Lex Luthor and well well, I know the Joker was in the part of the Superpowers toy line. So I'm guessing we're going to see that very soon. The classic Joker, not the, the Batman Who Laughs version. But anyway, let's back to the figure. Again, great sculpt. Perfect paint apps. Articulation, very limited. And I still do recommend getting this figure. For my read, I'm going to give Dark Side a... I'll give him like a, a 9 out of 10. Well, just 9 out of 10 for me because of the sculpting and the paint apps. So yeah, it's still a really a great figure. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the McFarlane Toys DC Super Friends. Dark side figure made by McFarland Toys. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.